After you've created your database and first table, you need to create a new related tables to build a relational database. Creating a table consists of these essential tasks. Defining the fields in the table, selecting an appropriate data type for each field, naming the table, and determining how the table will participate in the relational database. First, we're going to click the Create tab in the ribbon. You see what we are allowed to create now. From here, I'm going to click the Table Design button, which is this one. Then I'm going to enter the fields, names, and the data types that I need. Here's the field name, here's the data type. You'll simply type in a field name, tab over, and we will select the data type. So, I want it to auto number. I can either hit an A to begin pulling the list, or I can click the down arrow and select the field I want. I'm going to tab again, type my next field name. This one I want to be long text, so I'll select long text. Now that I have all my field names entered with their data types, I'm going to switch to View. Over to the left, I'm going to select the View button. Go to Data Sheet View. And it's going to ask you to save the table. I'm going to say Yes. And I'm going to name my table Comments. Then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to say No for it to create a primary key. A primary key field contains unique data for each record and we'll identify a primary key field for the comment table later. Next, I'm going to press the tab key to move to the comment field type. And then I'm there, I'm going to type interested in future tours to New Zealand. I'll press again, I'll type in a date, and I'll tab again. Now that I have my data keyed in, I'm going to widen this field here that says comments. I'm going to place my cursor between the comment and the comment date, and you'll notice how my cursor changed. At this point, I'm going to hold my left mouse key down, and I'm going to drag my cursor to the right until I'm able to see the entire contents of this field. Next, I'm going to close out this table, and I can do so by right-clicking on the Comments tab and clicking Close. As you'll see, sometimes it'll ask you if you want to save it. I'm going to say Yes. That way it has saved my comments. And that is how you create a table.